Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 10. The trailer has just been released. Also, we got a theory to do with what happened last episode with Fuerza being revived by Barry and Iris. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so go check out my latest review, top right corner of the screen right now if you missed that. Also, later tonight, we're going to be streaming at 9.30 p.m. UK time, so translate that to wherever you are. And we've got the trailer to go over in this video, and also a theory. And we're going to go into the theory right away now. So, okay, last night on The Flash, they introduced this whole new thing, right? With Barry and Iris, they have this connection to the forces, and supposedly they are their parents. But on a greater level, they have a connection to each other, and by using that connection, they are able to revive one of the forces. In this case, it was the Strength Force. However, now let's talk about this. So, with this new concept being introduced, it brings up a bigger question, and it got me thinking. This could be bigger than I think the writers ever thought about. And what am I talking about? Well, the new concept was played out when Barry and Iris touched hands and brought back Fuerza from the dead. This was completely unexpected as they had just killed her off in the episode prior, so no one was expecting them to just revive her by touching hands, right? So also it must be noted that the Arrowverse in general had people come back from the dead a lot of ways and it's happened many times in the past and it always seems to be some sort of way. However, this is very different from those other ways because reviving Fuerza in this way seemingly has no side effects on the person who has been revived. So unlike if she was revived in the Lazarus Pit or anyone else revived in the Lazarus Pit, there is always bigger implications to that and they always come out twisted from their original personality. But in the overall picture, with what they set up last night, it has a lot bigger implications than just reviving Fuerza. And this is where my theory comes in because this pretty much means the Flash can never die. And so, why? Why can the Flash never die? So, let's explain this. So, as long as Iris is alive, and it's imperative that Iris is around because they have that connection, Barry can die, and he will be able to be revived at any point, just as long as Iris actually touches him, meaning that he is essentially immortal. And so I don't think the writers realize how big this could be, but they basically just confirmed that the Flash cannot be killed and pretty much Iris can't be killed as well and that they are both invincible because they have that connection and as long as one of them is around, the other can be revived and this obviously doesn't go for people who don't have that connection so Barry and Iris can revive any of the forces if Speed Force Nora kills them. So there is literally no reason for them to worry if you're going about it in like a logical sense. But obviously there's going to be some plot holes here and there. And that's why in this next episode when we talk about this trailer, they are trying to train Fuerza in order to not be killed essentially by the Speed Force. But also I guess they do have to defeat the Speed Force, so I guess training is in order. But pretty much if any of them get killed, like, they're gonna be okay if they follow this kind of logic that they set up last episode. And so it doesn't go the same for any other person, however. So anyone who has a connection to the Forces is able to be revived, so the Flash is gonna be fine, Iris is gonna be fine, all the Forces are gonna be fine, even the Speed Force is gonna be fine. However, normal people aren't going to be able to be revived because they don't have that special connection. So say Caitlyn or Cisco dies in this season, they're not going to be fine and they would have to go around reviving them in a totally different way or they will just have to leave them dead because they don't have that connection. So what do you guys think about all of this? I know it's kind of crazy to think. However, if they wanted to follow along the lines of the logic that they just set up, and I know this would be a nitpick, the Flash is essentially invincible. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. So they just released the trailer for next week's episode, and this does tie into this. Also, they released some photos along with it, and we're going to be going through it shot by shot, photo by photo, and breaking it down. So the first shot of the trailer is 
Fuerza and she's been taken over by the strength force which is the blue lightning and I'm pretty sure that was the shot from the other episode just before she was about to die. We cut to the second shot we got Barry and Iris and so the strength force aka Fuerza aka Alexa is talking about how they are essentially her parents and that's because they revived and they technically birthed all the forces which again is a bit weird but I get the concept and you know they did create the forces however they created the forces but they didn't create the people so technically they aren't their parents but like in some way they are but that is the whole big thing and that's why the episode and the episode after which is a two-part episode probably wrapping up all of the first half of the season stories to do with the speed force and then we're going to move on to the godspeed stuff in the back half these episodes are titled family matters part one and two so they're going to be establishing some sort of connection between barry and iris and the forces okay so then we cut to another shot of alexa and cisco is like ah. Oh, that's super cute hearing them talking about how like their parents to the forces and to Alexa specifically then we move on and we continue where we left off last episode with Speed Force Nora and the Still Force aka Dion and that is with them facing off against each other and so Nora's hand is vibrating just like the reverse flash would do and so she's threatening to kill him essentially and she's not going about it by throwing the lightning like she did to Alexa but this time she's going reverse flash style which is pretty cool anyway so Alexa is getting scared about like the speed force coming after her because that's essentially what is happening in these final two episodes and then we've got a shot of Barry and he is talking to Alexa and then they're like we need to train you and so this episode you're gonna get like a bunch of training scenes with Alexa just outside the speed lab and you have Team Flash that being Cisco, Caitlin and Barry as you can see here training Alexa in that space and you have like various shots of them talking and Barry responds to Alexa who tells her how important this is which then moves on to the return of another force we saw last episode that is Psyche so Psyche is returning he obviously controls the Sage Force we see him on the right side of the screen here. The Flash zooms in with his speed and he is there in the background all suited up and they're going to be meeting once again. I'm not sure if he's going to get round to Psych this time. I presume he is because that is kind of the family matters aspect of this episode and the next episode is them all coming together and potentially defeating the Speed Force. I'm not sure if they're going to like physically defeat the Speed Force or if basically they're just gonna banish her and send her back to just being the speed force, like the normal one, without like having a human presence. And then we go to Fuerza who is hulking out and her eyes turn blue and she tries to break out of this force field as they train as she gets really angry and that's obviously just like a big thing to do with her powers and you know the strength force inside of her is generally quite angry so Cisco's obviously set up this force field to make her not like attack everyone and kill everyone because you know Alex is not really able to control her powers that much and I think that is part of the reason for the training in this episode so she controls her powers okay so we go over to the photos and they show pretty similar scenes and in the first photo you see Alexa inside that same room and then we cut to Barry and it seems like Alexa has shattered one of the glass windows in the speed lab because he is up there where you normally see Barry running around like trying to time travel or something and so he is just seeing the damage then we go back to the ground floor level and we have Alexa on the right, Barry in the middle and in the background you can see Cisco like waving his hands. I don't know why he's waving his hands but it's pretty funny. But he's got his gauntlets on so maybe he is testing Alexa by using his gauntlets. Okay, let's move on from this again. Another photo with Cisco in the gauntlets, Caitlin and Barry. And then you get a couple of shots where Barry and Caitlyn are reacting to Fuerza. So they look up in the air, Caitlyn's got like some sort of tech gun, I'm not sure what it is, it's not a normal gun, it's like some sort of meta gun, probably like a dampener. And then this other photo as well, just from a slightly different angle, and then it like kind of cuts out a tiny bit. And we have a final photo with both of them at the desk, so I mean the photos are all pretty similar, and they all show that one scene. 
Obviously, this scene is going to be a decent chunk of the episode. However, it isn't going to take up the whole episode. And you will see, like, Barry going after Psyche, the Speed Force, against Dion. Obviously, we'll find out if he dies or not, or if he gets away. And they're going to be probably bringing the family together, aka the forces together, to try and defeat the Speed Force and make her stop being evil, essentially. So, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, we are live streaming tonight. Going to be joined by Eric. So, be on the lookout for that. That's at 9.30pm UK time, which also translates to 4.30pm Eastern Standard Time in America. So, if you're around, go check out the stream. But for now, click to the top right corner of the screen if you want to watch my latest video. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.